In this lecture, I'm going to really quickly talk about a concept called ion pairing. Now, ion pairing is the momentary aggregation of electrically charged ions found in a concentrated solution of two or more compounds. Now, to really grasp what we mean by ion pairing, let's create a solution and see what happens within our solution. So, let's mix liquid water and solid sodium chloride and see what happens. Well, once we mix them, the sodium chloride dissociates and forms ions. So we have a bunch of polar water molecules separated by ions. At any given time, two of these ions might be separated by a solvent water molecule. And at this point, they can't interact with one another because of this separation. However, at another place, the solvent molecule, the water molecule, might not separate them. And at this point, because of their proximity, the ions will form an ion pair. And this is only for the moment. Imagine two ions floating or flying around in the liquid, right? Eventually, they will get close to each other. And when they get close to each other, they will form that momentary bond. But it's only for the moment, because if they're traveling, they will attract and will continue to travel. So eventually, they will break. So they travel, attract, and then break. And it's only for the moment. And that's the difference between an ion pair and an ionic bond. An ionic bond is not for the moment. It stays. It exists. If this sodium chloride is left untouched, it will continue. The ionic bond will continue to exist. But in this case, the ion pair only exists for a moment. Now, Ion pairing does not exist in an ideal solution. And that's because in an ideal solution, by definition, all the ions are separated from one another by solvent molecules. So no attraction between two ions exists. So ion pairing only exists in non-ideal conditions. Now, if you, if you want to see why ion pairing is important and where it's applied, check out the video below. In that video, I talk about something called boiling point elevation and melting point depression. And in this situation, something called von Hoff factor experiences ion pairing. And because of ion pairing, the value of the von Hoff factor decreases.